OK, let's head over to the Beko kitchen where Mark, uh, well, I would have said it's a casserole, bro, but you're going... <laughs> oh, so well, it's, it's a je ne sais quoi with a cassoulet. What makes it a cassoulet? Uh, because we say cassoulet and it's French. So no, we've got we've got we've got all these ingredients in. How do you say in. French? So what have we got here? Right, so we've got we've got a it's a meat pack stew basically. Meat. Right, look at this um, chicken thighs, bone in to keep them nice and juicy. Great. Duck legs in there. Uh, Toulouse sausages a what? and Toulouse sausages. Is that the bit that makes them French? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, and smoked ham hock as well. So four mm. different meats in there. We're going to brown it all off, and then we've got these beautiful beans here. So you can. So there's two options now. You can have um, you know the dried beans, soak them overnight, and then you can cook them in the cassoulet for a few hours, so mm -hmm. they just soak up all those flavours. Or if you don't want to wait um, too long for the beans to cook, you can just use the tin ones and put them in towards the end. I'm very, very much looking forward to this uh, sort of, uh, how do you say, a cassoulet sort of thing. <laughs> so, Mark, we're making a French dish this morning. I feel like you need a beret in order to make this <laughs> cassoulet. What do we need to start with? Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start getting some of our meats uh, uh, seared off and get some colour on our skins of our uh, chicken Fantastic. and duck. So we're tanning the meat. <laughs> yep. So, we've got a chicken thigh here. So I've Great. left a bone in it. And you really mentioned good. earlier why that you've left that in there? Well, it's just going to give us extra flavour into the stock because you've got mm -hmm. the bone in there and it's going to keep it nice and moist all the way through, you know? And, and the bone, once it's cooked, so we'll cook it for quite a long time, we'll just be able to pull the bone out. You know? only so it's a lot easier. times we're allowed to use the word moist. One is chicken, <laughs> the other is cake, and that is it. <laughs> there are no other times. OK, so that's going in there. Right, yeah, so get a nice big pot. So we're going to brown everything off in the pot and then build everything around it. Right. So a little bit of oil goes in there. And mm. skin side down, the chicken and Already the... Already you can hear it just going, I'm going to yep. be delicious soon. Wait and for you know, me. And here's a little tip for you, and this is what makes it French as oh. well. This little ingredient here. So this I is, know what that is. What is it? Is it duck fat? It's duck yeah. fat. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in as well. Oh, and that that's gonna, French duck, but it's going to be so delicious. So that's going to help brown it, and it's also going to help give it yummy flavour. Great. So a little bit more seasoning. Um, on the other side, and you just want to sort of take your time, mm. you know, it's going to take a long time to cook, but just take your time through all these stages, get a really nice brown colour in on all the skin, we'll flip it over as well before we start adding the other ingredients, but we'll go through the ingredients now. So this is a, a smoked ham hock, Great. so they come whole on the bone, you know, if you really wanted to and you've got a big enough pot, you could just put the whole thing in um, mm. as one, same again, it, the meat will just fall off, you could pick it after. Did we just see that at the supermarket? Yep, yep, you can get these at the supermarket now and they're already smoked for you and they're really yep. good. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit salty, so if you try them and they're a little bit salty, mm. soak them in some cold water for a, an hour or so and it'll draw some of that saltiness out. But you've got great flavour in here, nice right. smoky manuka flavour. Cool. So obviously watch, watch this a little bit because it will start splashing. So what are we looking for with this chicken? Right, so we just want to get a really good colour, so a nice, nice hot pan. Okay. And uh, we've got some of these uh, Toulouse sausages. Right. You know, so you can get these in the supermarket as well, so these are sort of more Frenchy with, uh, yeah. you know, lots of herbs in there, lots of garlic in there, right. nice porky, uh, meaty sausages. So in all seriousness, the difference between a casserole and a cassoulet is the name. Or is there something? Well, well no, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a classic French dish. Mm -hmm. It's done with duck, it's done with beans. It's, you know, it's cooked for a long time. You've got the sausages in there. And you can sort of adapt it and put it, you know, whatever right. you want in. But it's one of those sort of very French traditional sort mm. of stews. Excellent. So we just probably just need to check those too, that they haven't been in Spain too long. Um, <laughs> So you, so you can see it's starting to get a little bit yeah. of colour, but we're, we're going to keep going. We want a really good colour in there. So the more colour you can get on here, the more flavour you're going to get through your casserole. I love that. So okay. we've got a beautiful um, chicken stock here, which yep. we're going to cook it in. I said we talked about the beans, and we've got some vegetables and spices as well, which we're going to add in a little bit later. But we just really want to go through all these stages yep. and get nice colours. And um, so we're adding them by stages so that, you know, you don't end up with soggy veg or no veg probably by the time you finish. Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't need to do the veg till like the second stage, so it's all about just browning the meat mm. now. And then all the uh, the sediment from browning the meat, which you'll see a little bit later on the pan, you know, will get deglazed with all the stock mm. and all the vegetables when we pop them in, and, and that is all going to be flavour as well. My the, new uh, favourite word is deglaze, and <laughs> yum, there is lots more advice to come on how we can put this together. Now, still to come, we'll be talking with the stars 
stars of the world premiere of a Kiwi political thriller. But first, we need to continue to thrill with Mark's Cassolet. We've got uh, the duck going on here, to be fair, and I mean this in the nicest possible way. It is looking like an old leather handbag, um, <laughs> that skin there. But I'm guessing that's kind that's, of what we're looking for. No, no, for. that's what we want. Look at that. It's nice and crispy. It's golden. Uh, the the uh, chicken thighs there, the duck legs there. Yep. So the ham hock pieces, we're going to pop them in now. We don't need to get too much colour on those because it's going to add lots of flavour. Excellent. So what else is now? here? Right, so now we've got some vegetables. So what I'm going to do, I've got some onions. Just yep. going to sort of, you know, dice Reasonably them up. chunky there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's sort of a rustic dish. Same with the carrot. I'm just going to leave it into some nice big pieces. See, rustic is what I say when I can't be bothered. But I'm assuming <laughs> that's essentially what you're going for here. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could, you could um, finely chop it if you want. Yeah, then it would disappear, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look no, at it's, that. It's, it's nice to have a bit of, uh, a bit of texture there. I yeah. mean, we're going to cook it, you know, sort of three, four hours, depending on what you want to yeah. do. Just nice and slow. You can do this in it. It's a perfect dish to do in a slow cooker. Yeah. Or, you know, you get a, get a pot, put a lid on it, and mm. pop it in the oven as well, you know, and then you can really control that I'm temperature. I'm so tempted to stir it. Is that bad? No, no, you can, uh, you can have a spoon. Yes. Um, a few cloves go in there, okay. a little bit of spice, and some garlic, you know. French, the French mm. love the garlic. Do they ever? Get a whole clove, How put it in half. Ooh. And pop it in, you know. Oh, they love it. <laughs> Hello. Um, a question about the cloves. Do they sort of soften? Because I've bitten one before, and no, yeah. uh, no, they don't. No. So you need to watch out for those. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit like cloves. roulette, you know. Right. Oh, oh roulette. roulette. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. If you see a clove, take it out. Look, no sausages are dancing around that pan like there's no tomorrow. That's great, you know. <laughs> So we can put a little bit more seasoning as we're going because we've just introduced lots more um, uh, ingredients in there. Right. You know? What are we looking for with the vegetables before we just, you know, go with the oven or whatever? So you see, you sort of stir them around. You know, you've got that nice shine on the vegetables, mm -hmm. so it's coated in the fat. And we just want to cook them, you know, another five minutes over a medium heat. We can turn yep. the heat down now because we've got the we've used right. that heat for the colour. And, and we just soften down them. the jacket to be fair. <laughs> yeah, so but we want to keep it in there really, so, ideally. Because oh, fat is flavour. Mm, oh, yeah, and I tell you what, that ham is really doing its thing. I, I would invite that to a party any time <laughs> because, hello. Mm. You know, and then all you need to do now, we've just got some chicken stock. Oh, yes. And we're going to pop it on there. Bring it up to the boil, mm -hmm. lid on, turn it down and cook it nice and we're slow. We're just deglazing the pan here. This is what we're doing. Just giving that a good stir with the cassoulet. Lovely caramelisation on the top here. <laughs> and we've now deglazed the pan. You've done this before, haven't you? Oh, you know, just for the last four weeks. <laughs> yeah. Right, so after, you know, after a good few hours of slow yep. cooking, this is what you're left with. I mean, like, look at this. Go and try this. Try this, um, the, uh, you know, the broth in there. What am I doing? Tasting just try it. it. You just taste it. OK. Just what if I don't it, like it? <laughs> just lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is that is actually very good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm surprised. I know, yeah, you don't you don't need to. But you know, you've got mm. you've got all your, mm. uh, your, your so much flavour in that broth, and then just check, you know. I'm still salivating. You know, check this out. Oh yes. And then, and you know, this is how tender it is. Hello. You know. Oh yeah. I mean, you don't want to do that because you just ruin the presentation. But yeah, I'm but just <laughs> going to show you, you know how moist that is, you know, it's just you falling it apart. Yep, you, you can it leave again. it whole, you could pick it down, you can take those bones out, you know, you could take those vegetables out if you wanted, you could put some fresh mm. ones if you wanted some texture. Um, and then we've got the beans, so the beans just go in, you're just going to warm them up because they're the canned yep. ones. If you use the dried ones, you'd put them in at this stage and then just slowly cook it and, right. and you would get more flavour just doing the... Um, uh, dried ones, but you do need to soak them first. Fantastic. Very much looking forward to trying that proper. It is, of course, on our website too. Mark, <laughs> you're here now with the cassoulet. Are you happy with it? I'm very happy with it. What's Beautiful. on tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got a beef chilli. Or as we like to call it, beans, meat, 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 meat. <laughs>